is what's left of the boatyard in Mattapoisett one day after an inferno ripped through buildings, boats, and cars in the parking lot there. Today, the community is hoping the man who was seriously injured can recover and that the property owners can rebuild. Here's WBZ's Paul Burton. Charred cars, boats, and buildings burnt to ashes. Work crews spent most of the day sifting through debris of the massive Manapoisit boatyard fire. This is terrible. Total loss. It's just devastating. The fire destroyed five buildings, three dozen cars, and more than a dozen boats. Continuous explosions, which must have been cars and boats, one after the other. It was quite a sight, and it's really amazing that everyone survived. Mary and David Pendergast belong to the Mattapoisett boatyard. It's right over there. In fact, their boat was due for repairs, but it was still in the water at the time of the fire. You know, never did, did I imagine that anything quite like this could happen. The uh, families and people who work in this boatyard are uh, great people. Tom Tower also stores his boat here. It's one of the few that did not get destroyed. Uh, this is awful. You know, they're great people. They didn't deserve this. Mattapoisett fire. fire Chief says yeah. limited water supply and strong winds made this fire a challenge to contain and put out. Fortunately, no one was killed, but one man was seriously hurt and taken to the hospital, and three firefighters had to be treated for minor injuries. Investigators say the fire accidentally started in one of the buildings and is not suspicious. So today, the, the environmental companies working, doing their assessments, making sure the runoff isn't contaminated, going back into the ocean. I've been here 14 years. I, we haven't had a fire like this in my tenure here. Chief says remediation efforts are underway right now. He also says obviously this area will be shut down for weeks as they continue to clean up. The fire right now remains under investigation. And Matt Poison, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.